it's Sarah and I'm gonna do a bead review today guys I have myself a troll beads bracelet and I just thought I'm not feeling inspired I have stuff on my desk I'll get back to that in a minute but anywho um I just thought that sorry how's my husband <laughs> I got a new watch band it's black and I'm wearing my troll beads bracelet with it so let me take it off and I'll share what I got and what I think. I, I I love to collect. I've always loved to collect, and it's very strange, but I get excitement, enjoyment, I guess, right, out of collecting and looking up collections and seeing what you can get and limited edition things, and that it gets me excited, right? Anywho, troll beads is something that you can do that with and enjoy a nice piece of jewelry. So I've been doing it with Pandora. I ha I started out with my um, Origami Al too. But let me zoom in. First, let me take this off because I want to show you. The way the troll beads works is you get, it's a different system. So you get a chain link like this. I think it's called a foxtail. Let me zoom in a little bit. A uh, foxtail, I, I'm pretty sure. Um, I ordered these online. We don't have a store in my neighborhood. I think Delaware. I'm in New Jersey, so probably like an hour's drive. So who knows? Maybe I'll get there one day. But for now, I've ordered these online. They come FedEx. And um, I got a chain, the foxtail section of the chain, a lock, and two beads. I got this one, this purple one with like little flowers painted on it I guess I mean I don't know and then this one came with it too I think it's called vine of dreams but it has like little flowers and then a heart and then the lock the lock has hearts kind of like seems like it's they're kind of pressed into it like polymer clay almost and then there's two lobster claw openings this is the bigger the bigger one and then this side, it's more like you have to push this open to get that onto the bracelet. There are no threading or anything like that that you have to worry about like the Pandora bracelet has. But it does have spacers. You can get spacers and these have silicone inside. And that way it just kind of keeps the beads from all sliding down into one big lump. And I also, I love that I could get the silver. They come in, there's, they also offer copper and gold, I think, options in spacers. The Muranos, I'm gonna call them Muranos, but they're just glass beads. They're a little bit different than Pandora. They don't have as big a core. So to see the silver core and the Pandora beads are have a much bigger silver presence and it's got, like the Pandora logo on there. So these are just glass beads. I think they're more artsy looking. Actually, I'm looking at another bracelet that I think I'm gonna, I just got myself a new pair of glasses today, so maybe next week. <laughs> um, anyway, um, cause because I got a good deal, $109 for the chain, a lock, and two beads, these two beads. So that's a good deal for me to just try it, and then I added the rest already. Um, and so that's basically the idea. What I like too is it's very oxidized, right? Like it has a more rustic feel to it, if in my opinion. This is the, this is the side that you would thread the beads on with. See how it's smaller? And then this is the kind of the clasp end. So I'm going to put this end of my clasp on this. I also, I ordered the 7.1. Now on the website it talks about, let me go out a minute. So yeah, I mean I don't really remember the names. This is, I don't know, I just got them. Let's see. Let's see if I have Forest Mist. This is called Forest Mist. I don't know if the light's going to do it justice, but there's pink, purple, yellow, orange, it's kind of like all the colors. Um, this one's called Heart in a Heart, I believe. 
heart to heart bead and it's just silver um, this one's something about vi amber violets and this one came with the bracelet so I forget what it's called and then I'm pretty sure he's called the guardian of hearts a little cherub with um, oh, he's holding on to a heart so I went with the heart theme pretty much with this one because I because the lock had those hearts on it little viney hearts but I could add flowers and everything and then like I said I just got the spacers so that they don't all lump into one but when you go on the website I went to the ready to wear section I think it's called and um, I just want to show you because I'm thinking of getting this although I'll have to wait um, it's called art to go bracelet so here's what you get for $99 $99 you get a lock a chain see the lock is two tubes of paint and so I mean that's right up my alley right and then you get your choice of a glass bead there's like other glass right here so you see there's other colors that you can get and then this little um, silver charm I think it's a paintbrush with like two pencils or something like that $99 I would order up a size in this one too so because this here's how they they size their bracelets so when you buy this part of the bracelet just the chain and I say I want the 7.1 because you measure your wrist I'm about a six and a half inch um, it, that is including the lock so this isn't 7.1 it's about six and a half let's see six point you know six and a quarter inches and then the lock makes it 7.1 okay so they're considering the lock in there and most of the locks are this style they have two clasps like that but there are ones that are a little longer um, but I would go up a size because that way I could I could change out this it's it's nice it's a, it's a nice option to be able to do um, in case you add more beads so for right now I'm loving I think this is a good size and a good amount of beads too I like that I can see the oxidation on there um, because if when once you fill it up you won't be able to see the foxtail as much but I'm kind of liking that because I have my, oops, my camera went crooked. I have my Pandora that's got that super high polished snake chain. So I, I'm enjoying having this be the oxidized um, style. All right, you guys, so that's basically it. I just wanted to share that real quick. And like I said, I have tons of stuff on my desk. I'm working, I'm looking at this steampunk stuff that I've made with polymer clay and I was on Pinterest and I'm I think I might play with something like that maybe I'll make a few things and then I'll come back and share them all right so let me put that in the shot that's it for now thanks for watching